Hello everybody and welcome back to our lesson. For this video, I am going to talk about compound inequality. And what do I mean when I say compound inequality? Uh, so, a compound inequality includes two inequalities in one statement. A statement such as this one, this is read as x is greater than 4 but less than or equal to 6. Okay? This means x is greater than 4 and x is less than or equal to 6. So there are two ways to solve the compound inequalities. The first method is by separating them into two inequalities. And the second one is leaving the compound inequality as it is and performing operations on all three parts at the same time. Okay, We are going to illustrate these two methods in the following example. So we have here an inequality 2x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 3 but less than 6. Okay, the first method is by separating the two inequalities. So the first inequality we have 3 is less than or equal to 2x plus 2 and the second inequality is 2x plus 2 is less than 6. Okay, we are going to solve this inequality separately. So for the first one, we have 3 minus 2 is less than or equal to 2x. Right? So 3 minus 2 is 1. It's less than or equal to 2x. And then we divide both sides by 2. We have 1 half is less than or equal to x. For the second inequality, we have 2x is less than 6 minus 2. So we have 2x is less than 4. We divide both sides by 2. We have x is less than 2. And then when we are done solving the two inequalities separately, let us combine them into one single compound inequality. So we have 1 half. Tapos less than or equal to x. Tapos we have less than 2. Okay, so this is our solution by using the first method. How about the second method? The second method leaving the inequality as it is. So we have 3 less than or equal to 2x plus 2 and less than 6. Okay, and then we uh, subtract 2 to each of the sides of the inequality so we have 3 minus 2 we have 2x plus 2 minus 2 so plus 2 will be eliminated there and then 6 minus 2 we have 1 less than or equal to 2x less than 4 and then we divide all of the sides by 2 we are uh, left with 1 half less than or equal to x and then less than 2 so, parehas lang ano yung nakuha natin na solution for each of the two methods. Okay, so, how do we write this in interval notation? Okay, basically, yan na yung set builder notation niya. Lagyan lang natin ng braces and then x such that. Okay, so, lagyan lang ng x such that tapos braces na ganyan. Yan na yung set builder notation niya. How about the interval notation? Okay, the interval notation naman... So, uh, we start from 1 half, included si 1 half, and end at 2, pero hindi included si 2. Okay, therefore, uh, bracket ito, 1 half, tapos kama 2, tapos parente. Okay, so how do we draw this in the number line? So, close circle sa 1 half, open circle sa 2. And then, uh, drawing lang tayo, uh, connecting the two circles. Okay, so basically, ganito yung itsura ng ating graph. Okay, from negative, uh, from one half to negative, uh, to positive. Okay, so ganon ang pag-solve ng compound inequality. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.